Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Burka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives and doing the work to push this truth. Shalom. It's the brother Yara Yah Yashar Allah from the GMS Italia camp, and I'm here with a quick one. And I'd like to start reading from the book of um, Joshua, chapter 5, verse 6. So I'll get the King James, which quotes For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the people that were men of war which came out of Egypt were consumed because they obeyed not the voice of Yahweh unto whom Yahweh swear that they would not sh that he would not show them the land which the, the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai swear unto their fathers that he would give us the land that floweth with milk and honey and now if you go back to read in the book of um, Ecclesiasticus you know that which has that which has been um is now and that which is now has been okay there is nothing new under the sun and this these scriptures are actually written for the future to help us to be a guide for us okay so the same things that took place in the wilderness you know where many of them were complaining you know they were complaining for water they were complaining for food you know cursing out um cursing out um, um moses and aaron you know doing all doing all sorts of craziness and foolishness you know you know and all this was all fight for their flesh man none of them were spiritual you know, only few of them were spiritual to understand what was going on but the rest of them were were, were were all about the flesh and this is the same thing that's going on in these times man the time of that wilderness is coming back okay and only a few are going to make it into the into the promised land you know so those of you who will be complaining about what you eat what you wear whatever how you're going to feed how you're going to do this and that you know the most high is going to destroy most of you because um the scriptures tells us we shouldn't bother for what we're going to eat or drink we shouldn't bother with what we're going to wear the most high yahweh shem yahushai is going to be a refuge for us that's why you have this this truth okay to be wise and walk as a wise one not as a foolish person in these times you know these are the times you need to make certain moves you know to get yourself prepared for the times that we're about to get into okay saying that you know esau esau has no time and is coming with this with these laws and very soon you wouldn't be able to get into the grocery stores to get food very soon you wouldn't be able to get into the grocery stores the way you used to okay so this is the same thing that happened in that time that is coming again okay in a different form you know so those who are going to be complaining they're going to look for they're definitely going to look for excuses and give themselves reason why they should go and bow and take the serpent serum which is going to lead to the mark of the beast okay and you know this this is a usual thing you know your mind once you start having all these complaints you know your mind starts building different excuses for you you know your brain starts coming up with different excuses and give you a reason why you should go go and bow for that thing you know which is the flesh the flesh is what nothing man the flesh is going to lead to death that's why we really need to be in the spirit and why did this man why did this man why 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 did they make it into the land you know let's read from this new international version it says the israelites had moved about in the wilderness 40 years until all the men who were of military age who they left egypt had died when they left egypt had died since they had not obeyed yahweh for yahweh had sworn to them that they would not see the land he had solemnly promised their ancestors to give us a land flowing with milk and honey this same land is coming man this same land is coming okay this same land is coming which is you know the, the new kingdom that we are promised man and those who don't who will not believe those who would not believe the most high yahweh shem yahweh shai those who would not put their trust on him you know those who don't call the true names who are not willing to give up these things that's 
these worldly things you know that they are so attached to these people are not going to make it into the into the into the promised land then so this is the book of numbers 14 29 your bodies will fall in the wilderness who were numbered in the census everyone 20 years of age or older because you have grumbled against me okay this is not the time to grumble against the most high now, why should i leave my job why should i do this why should i do that you know these were the ones numbered by moses and eleazar the priest they when they when when they counted the israelites on the plains of moab by the jordan across from jericho deuteronomy 2 7 indeed the lord yahweh shem yahushai your power has blessed you in all work of your hands he has watched over your journey through this vast wilderness the lord yahweh shem yahushai has been with you these 40 years and you have lacked nothing man the most i knows the period we're about to go into and this is a great test for each one of us it's going to provide for our needs man you shouldn't worry about losing your job you shouldn't worry about you know giving up certain things certain certain comforts in this kingdom this kingdom is worth nothing the time we spent traveling from kadesh Barna until we crossed over the brook of zared was 38 years until that entire generation of fighting men had perished from the camp as yahawa had sworn to them you know so we don't want to be part of these people like you can see the most is really exposing a lot of camps right now you know this is the time they are pl actually planning to, to to do different things we can see that they don't even have the, the plan they don't have the, the return of yahawa shine the plans man and these men most of them are not going to see this um this promised land man they're not going to make it through the to the kingdom man so this kingdom should be the first priority you know in our hearts man though all who had come out of were, circumc were circumcised none of those born in the wilderness on the journey from egypt had been circumcised okay and joshua raised up their sons in their places and these were the ones circumcised until this time they were still uncircumcised since they had not seen circumcised uh, since they had not been circumcised along the way some wandered in the desert wasteland finding no path to a city in which to dwell okay so anyway you know this is this was just actually a thought and i wanted to share it like you know the time of the wilderness is coming back again and those that murmured against the most high you know the most I didn't make them see the, this land, this promised land, man. You know, they didn't see the promised land. They were they, they were destroyed. You know, many of them. You know, they they had the faith. You know, they they were humble. You know, they didn't go after the flesh. You know, one morale that you can get from the story is the flesh, man. And how they were complaining were just stupid things. After seeing a lot of miracle, after the most I has given them manna. You know at giving them water from a rock you know they would always you know they would always bring up problems you know due to their flesh to satisfy the lust of their flesh so this flesh is what nothing man this kingdom is what nothing man so hey prepare your spirits i just wanted to share this quick thoughts hopefully it was edified and i'd like to give all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem Kodash. I double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful let spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom.